Hello, how are ya? Chef Kennedy here, welcome to my new mini-series, Creating Magic, where I take you step-by-step step to create one epic meal. This month, we're working on how to build a cheese plate. Each week, I'll show you one new component to create a beautiful cheese plate to share with friends or to eat alone. Pickle me this, how do you preserve and enhance the natural essence of any vegetable? Pickle it, of course. When life throws you lemons, pickle it. When you're down and trip over a carrot, pickle it. On this episode, we'll be learning how to make a simple pickle to accompany your cheese. Now that we've made our own jams, it's time to add a salty, briny, crunchy element. I'm not going to be going into canning today, so I linked a video down below if you'd like to learn how to extend the life of your pickles. Let me show you how simple it is to make your own pickles from scratch using fresh ingredients to preserve and up-level any vegetable. Okay, so we're going to be making pickled okra, pickled red onion, and pickled baby zucchini. To start off, you're going to take two and a half cups of water, equal parts white distilled vinegar, one cup of sugar, two third cups of salt, two bay leaves, one teaspoon of fennel seed, one teaspoon of mustard seed, and one teaspoon of black pepper. You could also use the whole peppercorns here. And five sprigs of fresh dill. Wrap that tightly so the seeds don't fall out. If you don't have cheesecloth, that is totally fine. You can either strain out the seeds before adding it to your pickles, or leave the seeds in, or skip this step altogether. This is just gonna infuse more flavor. Feel free to experiment with different spices too, like cloves or juniper berries, but add that into your pot and bring it to a boil. Now I'm gonna prep for my okra. I'm taking two guajillo chilies and slicing them, and I'm just gonna add that to the bottom of the jar. Now take your okra and just tightly pack it into the jars. You want to tightly pack it to prevent them from popping up. Now that that's all set, remove the cheesecloth and add your pickle juice right over top. With any of these pickles, I like to allow them to cool before putting the lid and refrigerating them. Now for the pickled red onion, I'm just going to slice off the top remove the skin and leave the root behind. Now my mandolin is pretty narrow, so I'm just gonna slice a piece off so that it fits nicely and adjust the mandolin to make really even thin layers. If you don't have a mandolin, that's okay. You can slice it by hand. Just try to get as even thin layers as you can. If you are using a mandolin, just keep your fingers up and away from the blade. Now I'm gonna take two pieces of parchment and fold them into squares, set that aside, and then add your onions into the jars. Now with any of the pickles, Feel free to tightly pack them into the jars because as it pickles, they will shrink a lot. Now just add your pickle juice over top. Add your parchment squares and press it down until the pickle juice comes over top of the parchment. This is gonna ensure that your pickles stay submerged in the pickle juice. It's really important that the vegetable is completely covered by the juice. So feel free to do this with all of your vegetables, specifically the pickled red onions, because they do tend to pop up. 
Now for dance break. All right, so now I'm going to do the baby zucchini and I'm gonna use three sprigs of dill per jar and just tightly pack in those baby zucchinis just like we did with the okra. You could also use whole zucchini, you'll just have to slice it. Now we're ready to add in our pickle juice. Pour that over top and just remember, make sure to cover it fully with the juice and allow it to cool before putting the lid and refrigerating. I have some extra pickle juice, so my basil plant made these little buds, so I'm gonna pickle those too. Just add them to the jar, pour over the pickle juice, and we'll see what happens. Okay, so here we have our three different pickles our pickled okra, our pickled red onions, and the pickled baby zucchini. And it's time for the taste test. First up is our little spicy okra situation. Okra! Mmm, yes. I like that it still has a crunch and that little hint of spice at the end. You could also substitute red pepper flakes if you don't have dry chilies. All right. For the pickled red onions, I made a little chip with some guac. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Pickling onion just brings out like the sweetness and like the tartness, bounces it out. So delicious. On to our pickled baby zucchinis. Aren't they just so precious? Mmm, wow. I love the like heavy dill flavor. These would be great on like a hummus plate with some olives and some falafel. Mmm, now I hope that this inspires you that you can pickle anything. Maybe not like a banana, but you can pickle a lot of things. And you can also save your pickle juice for some pickle bags. So, I got a shot of whiskey here and some pickle juice that says, you need Jesus and a shot. Cheers. <sighs> Makes you feel alive. All right, please don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, because next week, we're making vegan cheese, okay? Chef Kennedy, out. Pickle it. What is she wearing?